What's going on guys? So I just uploaded the uh, Strong Attack Recharge build top 10 video and uh, yeah this one was fun to make. I, uh, I, I was actually surprised by how high up Tenza made it because um, you know a month ago he would have probably been like top 2 like top number two or number one, well, no, because no, SSNL no, was there, so, yeah, about a month ago, he would have probably been just, like, number two, and he ended up being, what, number five, or number, yeah, number five, I think, um, that, that's probably the biggest surprise for me, just because the other ones are so, so strong, like, god, man, the, uh, Ukiora and Baragon were both just phenomenal, Phenomenal, phenomenal characters. There we go, if I could say the word. Yay, lag. Um, they were both such really strong characters. Um, but it was actually really close, because you got Ukiora with the wave attack that's about to get even stronger. And you got the vortex move, the crawling vortex that moves away. His, his, he's, he's a ranged character whose strong attacks play extremely well with the fact that he is a ranged strong attack recharge character because they push back they do a lot of damage and uh they basically keep the enemies away from you toward you can just kill them. um but man baragon their sp is the same granted baragon's the only thing the only downside about baragon that i can see was his defense was lower than a lot of the other characters on the list it was actually lower by like 20 something points or so but for some characters but yeah, it wasn't the best defense, but man, I, it, when you can inflict weakening like he does, it's insane. His normal attack inflicts weakening, his special inflicts weakening, all of his strong attacks inflict weakening, but what's crazy about him is that his strong attacks do, they hit a lot of times. They hit, especially that last one, the last one feels like it stays on screen for like a full second and a half, it's crazy. And it does, I think, 16, with frenzy and everything, the 16 hits, so it's just insane um, that's why he took number one but it was it was pretty close um, yeah the, the I know a lot of people are gonna be upset that I put Nell over Tenza that was another one that was really 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 close just because Tenza the output of damage and the range on Tenza's moves are better um, but it's, it's Nell's fire vortex that one it's it's broken. It really is broken. If you take Nell to extreme co-op or inherit zones, she's just it's just so great because you can the incoming uh, attacks you can just avoid them using the vortex move, and it sucks everybody in. It may inflict burn, but overall you just you're immune from damage for like three seconds, um, and you know you can use it every seven seconds or so, seven and a half seconds. So it's just crazy and then her strong attack one and two are powerful in by themselves so it's just a crazy crazy build but it's that really the immunity frames that she gets from her strong attack to her vortex move that places her over tens up but like i said it's just just barely because tenza's output damage is uh just a little bit better um but yeah the 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 rest of the list it's i'm actually another thing that surprised me um when i made this list is, is uh is or when I you know when we made the list because I got a person helping me out with this good old Hikari, um, but yeah it's how many characters and I saw this coming but I, I didn't expect it to be this much how many characters were actually not strong tech recharge linked characters like it was a it, it it was a top ten of what you know top ten strong tech recharge build but the actual characters that had the link were like only what is it like the top five top four it wasn't very many that had that that link and that's because you know so many characters have a strong attack damage and the the characters with the strong attack recharge link i feel like that's a link that caleb is just now starting to explore because we've been getting a lot of them lately we've been getting a lot of characters with the recharge link lately um and i feel like that's a that's a that's a build, that's a link that Caleb is just now starting to explore after two years of being in the game. Um, because, you know, before you used to have characters like the swimsuit characters, I think eight out of, or like six out of eight of the original characters had 
that as the link. It was a crazy amount. It was a crazy amount, or five out of eight of the original characters had that link. It was crazy. Um, but, yeah, like, just now, we're getting to the point where PvE, having a character with a really high SP and that recharge link is just insane. It can actually create more output damage than strong attack damage, if that makes sense. Like, I, and I said this in the video, Tenza's output damage over time is better than full bring Ichigo's. Just hit the mic. And that's actually true because with Ichigo, the max damage you can do is like 95% strong attack damage. And with Tenza, it's like 50, it's like 54 or 52% um, uh, recharge, which is over time, you end up just doing more damage. Plus, it's better to have him um, anyway, with the exception of PvP, I think it's better to have Tenza just because, uh, just because not every character needs that much damage to be killed. Like, for example, these mob characters right here, right? Um, yeah, they'll die with a strong attack, but do you really need a 95% strong attack damage strong attack to kill them? Odds are you don't. Like, with Tenza, the strong attacks will kill them. And then he can use them again in four seconds. Whereas with full bring Ichigo, strong attacks will kill them, but you have to wait another eight seconds. So, you know, it, in my opinion, it's better to have Tenza. That said, that logic doesn't really apply in PvP because, uh, and that's the same thing with Baragon. He he might be PvP cancer. He might not be. I I I am very excited to see how that plays out. Just because, like I said, his defense isn't that great, but all right, his defense isn't that great, but his output damage. Or the, the amount of hits and the debilitator he can inflict is crazy. Um, so he might be PvP cancer, he may not be. Like I said, definitely the strong attack recharge build is not the best for him for PvP. I would not put that build for him in PvP. Just because with PvP you want to do the most amount of damage first. Because the matches are over so quickly, most of the time, you know, the exceptions can be made with Broken and Koga. But... Yeah, um, the you want to get those done as quickly as possible. And if you have a recharge build, then you might live to do two strong attack ones, but anything other than that is very unlikely. Um, some of the other characters, I was going to do a honorable mentions, uh, but I decided not to. I cannot remember why. Um, but yeah, Mila Rose, I was thinking... She was, she was going to be on there, and then I looked at her SP, and it wasn't great, so then I decided not to put her on there. Um, it's, it's a decent it's a decent uh, SP, it's just not... The other character's SP is better. And better enough toward they're better with a recharge build than she is, even though she does have the link. Um, <coughs> another character I wanted to be on here, but there's no way, is the OG Stark. Uh, some of you may know he's my favorite character, but... Uh, you know, his stats are so far beyond um, being able to place on the list, which is a shame. Although he is going to get better with the update, but we're just going to have to see on that. Um, let me see who else has that link. I know there's a few other characters who have who had that link that could have been possible. I was taking a look at Wonderwise here. Wonderwise special is absolutely insane. It's insane. It is crazy because he's got the. It's increased by 20% and then he's got Bombardment in addition to that 6,000 plus damage it already does. So it gets 20% better and then it hits twice. With the Shintai it'll hit with the 4 times the power too. It's crazy. Um, Rangiku. Rangiku, similar thing. Her SP is good. It was just not high enough and her... I feel like her strong attacks don't do as much damage to be able to put that on there. Rose, similar thing. Uh, his range is not great. Uh, and his damage output also isn't that, that awesome. Rukia might have been the closest one. That said, her SP is also not great, but that freezing does help. And the fact that she can do it multiple times is also very really good. But yeah, you can read, run down the list. Uh, Holly Bell would have been a great choice too, but similar thing. It's just the SP. SP takes takes a, a huge part in this. Um, and a lot of these characters had, as you know, really, even the ones that are like, 10, 9, 8, whatever, um, their SP is really high, like really high, so it just made more sense. I'm um, probably going to get a lot of I Ichigo was a better option than, uh, than Yoruichi, 
it was that was another one that was very close to me in my opinion um ichigo's sp is better um though yoruichi does have that boosted link the reason i put her above is because of the flash steps honestly because they go so well every it'd be a fast recharge a fast flash step and a fast strong attack damage like strong attack uh they're basically instant so it would be kind of just like you know hit him instantly so that's why i did that because you can kind of just dodge around you could actually with the build you could hit strong attack one strong attack two fly to the other side of the map strong attack three go to the next go to the next part with ichigo you you know you can flash that but it's just it's just so much faster with yoroichi and i think her her skills tend to be a little bit better um dang side sync is just killing it today look at that anyway but yeah that's it for this explanation video um side sync just crashed so that's good i guess because that i'm ending it here but uh yeah thank you guys for watching let me know what you think about these videos and uh i'll see you in the next top 10 or you know whatever video take care